This is a demo showing how Excel can be used to interact with web applications. Specifically, we're going to be working with Mint.com. If you're not familiar with Mint, it's a web-based personal financial management service. Basically, it lets you aggregate your various credit cards, checking accounts, and investment accounts to give you a view of your financial situation. Now, this video isn't intended to be a tutorial or something that I would sell commercially. It's just an example of a problem that I had with Mint service and the way I got around it. As I mentioned, Mint lets you connect your credit cards to summarize your spending over time. The problem is, they're only able to import a few months of transactions when you sign up. I had over 18 months of statements that I wanted to analyze, but they didn't offer a way to import these historical transactions. So this is what I came up with. Let's take a look at the Mint interface. This is a dummy account, so all we have in here is one test transaction. Now I'll show you the layout of my spreadsheet here. We have the date, description, amount, category, and then this category ID that you have to kind of programmatically pull from Mint in this circumstance. And then all you need to do is click the import button and we can go back to Mint and see them being loaded in real time. And now all those transactions that are in my Excel sheet are now in Mint. Seems pretty magical and there are a few other things you need to do to set it up. This gets a little technical, but let me kind of demonstrate what's going on in the background. So when you're using the website and you add a transaction like this, it sends off an HTTP POST request, and I can capture that using a program called Fiddler. Let me demonstrate what that looks like. So if I just fill out a, another test transaction here, you can add whatever category, an amount of one, and then you can say I'm done. And over here back in Fiddler, you posted this transaction right here. So this is the raw data that's being passed to Mint. Copy that into another page to look at it more clearly. So what you need to pull is this cookie. This is basically what identifies you as being logged in. So when you send that, Mint knows which user to apply these transactions to. And then I paste that right in here. And same deal with this token. This lets them know that it's a legit transaction being posted. So that's the setup you need. And then my script just loops through each of the expenses in this tab, shooting off a different post request each time a, uh, each time a row is entered and then it ends up in Mint.